Hi, my name is Gary Ward. Um, I arrived at uh, Preston Macedonia in 1979 and played five seasons and very, very enjoyable. Coming from England, um, or anywhere in Europe for that matter, but certainly for, in England, we were obsessed with football from, uh, from a very early age, like three, four, five, I wanted to play football. And so, you know, at an early age, sort of 15, 16, I left school at 16 years old to play full-time football. So by the time I got to Australia at 23, I felt like I'd had a career, but um, um, I certainly hadn't experienced the passion that the Preston Macedonia supporters had. and, and um, and the five years I had at Preston were absolutely unbelievable and um, I remember it like it was yesterday. The um, first game for Preston Macedonia was at Green Gully and um, Tony Vizina had me on the bench, I wasn't very happy about that, so, uh, but I ended up um, coming on at half time and scoring two goals. I don't know whether we were behind at the time, I think we might have been. So uh, I remember Mickey Rainey running up to me saying, yeah, that's just what we need up front. So that was, uh, that was pretty wonderful. It was, uh, it was interesting because uh, I um, um, I missed the first probably eight, nine games of the, of the uh, first season for Preston in the NSL uh, due to an injury that I picked up at Olympic Park. Uh, well, actually, it was, a, it was an anti bull of a tackle over the top of the ball, way away from the ball that fractured my shin. And, and uh, so that put me, I'd scored the, in, that, in that goal, in that game, in that cup final, a good header. Uh, but um, unfortunately, I missed the first eight, nine games of uh, the NSL. However, um, Preston needed to be in there, they deserved to be in there, they had great support no matter where you went around the country, there was always a few thousand um, uh, Preston supporters and uh, so a game against the Sydney Olympic in Sydney for instance was like, was like playing at home so, uh, so it was um, um, a great, uh, great time to be playing in the National Soccer League and um, yeah, no, it, was, it was where we needed to be. Um, as long as I could stay injury free, I was beginning to enjoy playing football with, uh, with some great players. So Peter Ollerton came in as coach, being an ex-Socceroo, um, he knew what he needed, he got, he, got, uh, he got us very, very fit. The 82-83 uh, Preston side, we went many, many games unbeaten. Um, I think the, the back half of 82 and the front half of 83 in the NSL, I don't think we lost a game. Um, now, I played for the 87 Arpia side that went on a long run of 24 or 5 games unbeaten and became national champions. I know, good, I know a good side, that was a good side, but that Preston side was a better side. It was an unbelievable side and you know, given, given maybe uh, 83 when uh, we were 10 points clear at the top, 5 games to go, you know, we were a no-brainer if you were a, a punter, you were honest. Um, I got injured again, missed the last five games. Claude had to go away on business or something. Between us, I think I was on, I think I was on 19 goals and Claude was on 15 or something crazy like that in terms of who's at the top. It was like Gary Ward, John Cosmina, uh, Marshall Soper, Claude Lucchese. So that's, you know, that's how Gary Cole, that's how strong the Preston side was. But how could you not score goals with so many players around you creating those opportunities for you? So that Preston side of 82 was, was, was great. The 83 was brilliant. I had five magnificent seasons with Preston. Um, I got tempted to leave, I'd had a few injuries. I thought, you know, maybe a fresh, fresh change with Brunswick Juventus, then Melbourne, Croatia, then West Adelaide, Adelaide Hellas, then, um, then Arpia. Uh, so five seasons with, with uh, Preston and, and, and then five seasons among four other clubs. So you could see I wasn't quite as at home as I was when I was at Preston. So, and every time I played against Preston, I didn't want to score, you know, uh, but, but you've got to do your job as a, as a footballer. But I, I, I missed it. I missed the passion. I missed the supporters. I missed um, Sasha Ojanowski's dad who started the Mark Get Dona Your Chant. And then and all of a sudden you've got a few thousand people doing this. Um, and I can tell you right now, Jerry Gomez um, and Peter Catholis would tell you, because they're mates of mine in Sydney, they would tell me, they tell me the one place they didn't want to go and play. They would play anywhere that they didn't want to go and play, Connor Reserve, Sunday afternoon, cold, windy, 6,000 people there that all want to, you know, all want to play, kick them and everything else. So if, if ever the home, the home side supporters were worth a goal, they were worth a goal, the Preston Macedonia supporters were worth a goal at home, I can tell you that right, right now. I'd like to congratulate uh, Preston on their 70th anniversary, their 70 years. Well done, a great achievement and uh, thank you to all the committee and people that uh, I, um, I um, really respected in those days, still do. The John Branoff and, the, and Branco and, and uh, Dikos and all, all those people that looked after us. The wages never ever failed to pay the wages, it was un unbelievable. Um, 
But um, in finishing, I just want to say, this is our club, this is our team, we are Preston, go.